Hello, welcome to Theme Park Wizard, and welcome to the third day of Vlogmas. And man, oh man, as soon as I think, man, I might run out of content for this Vlogmas, new content pops up daily, which is awesome. And yesterday, or today, no, yesterday, sorry, um, the gates were opened to California Adventures' new little festival areas, a flex space. So as you can see, over the weekend where when Buena Vista Street first opened, people were freaking out over this gate. They thought it was another entrance to Avengers Campus. They thought, what is going to be behind these gates? First of all, they're beautiful gates. It seems, it seems like Buena Vista Street slash Grizzly Peak. Beautiful gates. And people were like, what is going to be here? Fresh baked in video. I looked behind the gates and saw their show lighting, so it wasn't backstage. At first, I thought maybe it was going to be backstage. But no, there's show lighting, so that maybe meet and greet for a Spider Man. Then I realized it wasn't connected to Avengers Campus at all. And then I realized it was just a flex, and we're anticipating, oh, it could be a flex space. We were like, what could it be? And, well, the gates have opened up, and thanks to Disney underscore hype underscore beast underscore 80 on Instagram, they gave some great pictures of the flex space. So, what they do for now is at least they moved the ODV cars from their on Green Vista Street. They moved them into this little area, which is good because it opens up the walkway, especially in these in times like this when there's need for social distancing. There's a lot more room on the walkway now. Now, now that these ODV cars on one central location, and you can line up outside the gates to get to your ODV card. So that is what the flex space is. And I anticipate them using this area again for food and wine, festival of holidays. Then when the space is not needed, they'll just close the gates. Which is why the gates are there. They're beautifully themed gates, and at least now we know that's what they're being used for. Next time I head over to Downtown Disney, I'll definitely check it out myself. Now, the reason why you off the pages in this article because it was announced later that by WGW and Today and some other sources that off the page will be reopening today. Today as in Thursday, December 3rd, 2020 and California Adventure on Buena Vista Street. You can currently walk to this area right now. At the, there's just It's just before the rope where it blocks off the uh, where you can go, but there's some stores and restaurants, uh, stores mostly that aren't open yet that can be accessible, like Humphreys, Off the Page, and Gone Hollywood. Um, it's rumored there that, that was due to maybe cast member issues. They're trying to call some people back and they couldn't call anybody back, but I said they've called people back, um, and hmm, Off the Page is definitely going to be opening, to, uh, it was already open by the time this video is um up so that's awesome i'll try to get to downtown disney this weekend or benefit street this weekend do avengers merch avengers campus merch search and go uh look do some merch search for off the page as well gone hollywood is also dressed up for the holiday so expect an opening for that in the next week or so even maybe even earlier and again you can potentially even expect the same for humphreys which is across the street from uh across the way from smoke jumpers grill that shop, I don't know if it's just closed, you can't, I can't see inside, there's no windows, you can't see if it's dressed up for the holidays, but it's already accessible, so I, I would imagine that you can go ahead and, um, oh, I'd imagine they'd open that up shortly after, after Gone Hollywood. One, it was cast members some jobs, because unfortunately another 1,400 or so were laid off from the Disneyland Resort, which is unfortunate. But it gives cast members some jobs, and it also expands the capacity. Each thing you open up, and even if you extend the rope a little bit, a, a walk, a walkway usage, that it opens up um, the capacity, so you can put more and more people into down into Buena Vista Street um, in the California Metro, which is awesome. Also, lastly, December sixth, which is Sunday, the Grand Californian or the DVC at the Grand Californian opens up. And I expect them to extend. Yeah, they did a test um, a week or so ago where they extended the ropes just for one night. 
for one day, extend the ropes um, where you can walk to instead of just by the plane by Soren. They made they made it all the way to like the Grizzly River Run uh, slash Grand Cali Hotel entrance, and I expect them to do that again when um, because the DVC opens up on the sixth, which is Sunday. So I expect the DVC members to get that again that California Adventure Hotel when with street access potentially um and enter through that side and so maybe hopefully they'll extend the um the rope over again so you can have more and again that also increases the capacity for more and more people to enter California Adventure. So super exciting stuff. Nice to see the initial opening of uh Brand Vista, Brand Vista Street went very well and I see that they are going to go ahead and um Expand the capacity here and there by opening up shops, shops that are easily accessible um, right now, but just, I guess, didn't have the support for cast members yet. So, that's awesome. Will you be going to Off the Page, Gone Hollywood, or maybe even Humphreys, if that reopens? Let me know in the comments below, and there's rumors that maybe you'll extend to Carzan Pacific Wharf area. Carzan would be awesome, because I absolutely love, love to see Carzan at night. Pacific Wharf. Probably makes more sense because that's all shops and dining right there, so it would obviously make the most sense to increase it to make it go over there. But Carzan is just too beautiful, so I hope they'd open that up as well. But we'll see that stuff by the way. Those expansions most likely will happen next year in January, um, especially as we get that vaccine rolling out. Hope those infections start to go down because we're experiencing quite the surge here in California. But other than that, I hope you had a uh, a great time watching this or uh, listening to this video and watching to this video. Subscribe for more theme park updates. I'm at 911 subscribers. We're on a road to 1,000. We have a next. We already gave a a prize or we have a prize right there for my other video. If you go watch that other video, I'll link it up above. You can go ahead and win a prize, a theme park wizard button. If you talk about the, if you comment below the last topic we talked about, Orange Grove and I. For in that video, we got to 910 subscribers. At 920 subscribers, we have people can some of you guys can win a theme park wizard mask, and you can choose any mask of your choice from the website. So definitely subscribe for more info there. And as always, have a fantastic day.